Well, hi, everybody. Here we are again. Here I am by myself. Kelsey will be back. She promises us, okay, from the It's Dog or Nothing website. So, um, well, we got a big show today. Um, we've got uh, Dozy on here. We've got Marsha coming up here in a few minutes. Uh, um, and uh, maybe if we have time, we oh, we have Maya going to be up. It's, it looks like it's spelled Mia, but it's pronounced Maya. And um, let me look at comments real quick here. And hi, Tracy from North Dakota. Hi, Rena. Um, and we're going to kick it off with a bang. Before I, uh, before I uh, introduce and bring up Marsha, I want you guys to, and most of you know this, um, uh, because you have peers if you're watching or you want to have peers or had peers. Uh, those big double dew claws on the back, everybody knows that, um, oh, sometimes they can be a hindrance. Some people take them off. We don't want to do that unless it's a medical emergency. But we know they're made for climbing, okay? They're from rugged mountains, and uh, that's where they do a lot of their work is in the, in the mountains of France. And uh, But you see, they have other talents, too, and I just want to do this as a reminder. That's an eye opener. So make sure you've got adequate fencing for the dog at hand. Okay. So wow, we've got us a uh, we got us a young lady coming up with us. That um, um, well, I think uh, we we did a video, so I, I think the uh, uh, video will do better introductions than I can do. <music> our superstar she's down here no with the squeaky toy oh the squeaky toy is <laughs> right here too all right wow hi mary how you doing today up there in washington good we're doing good all uh, right yeah i thought I'd, i'll hold up the squeaky toy okay what'd you there there's <laughs> miss squeaky toy yeah she's nine pounds what, and what's that dog's name lotta lotta, lotta. all right and um, we're at we're at lotta's mom's house <clears throat> alex and um, Marsha in the background. Okay. I see Marsha. Now she, now she's our star, right? She's our star. Okay. She's the one looking for a new home. Um, she's such a sweet girl. Um, she's very pretty, very sweet. 
I mean, I can do anything with her. I can touch her any place. Uh, she's fine with it. I can take food away from her, um, even while she's chewing it. And she has no problem with it. And it was like that from day one. So gotcha. Yeah, she's just an awesome dog. Now, will she do what that dog did in that short video? Jump over uh, a fence? Uh, yes, she will. So she right. needs a six foot fence. There you go. Um, she has jumped over a four foot with no problem. So how does she do with that snuffle mat? She loves it. All um, right. Yeah, and it doesn't take her very long to empty it. So and sometimes she gets crunching it. You know, if she she right. knows it's there, but she can't quite get it. So. so it's a variety of what you put in there. Yes. So we gotcha. we change things out all the time. All right. All right. <laughs> We're trying wow. to keep her in camera view so you can see what she looks like. Yeah. Oh, I want to make that scroll across the bottom instead of taking all that space up, don't I? <laughs> we'll do that. Now, um, um, what about, what kind of home would she need? She would love a home with another dog. Um, and as you can see, she does really good with this little dog. Um, probably, you know, a little bit bigger might be a little bit better just because she's... Um, she doesn't realize how big she is and she might just step on him. That's the only thing I'm worried about. She's very good with um, other dogs. She was in one of the other fosters. She was in a medium sized dog and, and she did real well with that one. Good. Um, what about children? Um, one of the fosters had children and she did well with them. Okay. Um, and they had a cat also. Um, I don't have children or a cat, so I can't really tell, but uh, they say she's good with them. Okay. Um, She's you got a good suggestion box for your next foster? Have children and cat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> You're not, oh, that makes fostering too hard then, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it makes it a little difficult, yeah. Right. So probably a, like a six-foot fence in the backyard, another dog to play with. And yeah. somebody would just love to pamper her because she loves to be pampered, pet and massaged. And she wow. likes the couch. She likes the bed. Um, she Are her legs as long as that photo makes them look? Yeah, she's got really long legs. Yeah. Wow. When she's, yeah. Something. she's probably a little still underweight. She's like 51 pounds in that one, I think. Mm -hmm. And she's around 65 now. Um, and she good. could probably put on another five or 10 pounds easy. She looks good there, doesn't she? She does. So. Um, <laughs> wow. She's, now good. she's good on the leash. She's good in the car. Um, so we take her in the car quite a bit, and she's really excited to go on rides. What about the vet? How does she do at the vet? I have not had her to the vet. Okay, because so. there was no need. Right. Uh -huh. That's a plus. She doesn't hurt herself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's um, good with city noises. Like, I live on a really busy street, and we get ambulances and garbage trucks going up and down. Uh, vacuum, you know, with the vacuum, she's okay with that. She doesn't like squeaky toys, though. Um, oh, so that's her. because they keep running away from her. Probably, yeah. Augie <laughs> um, um, says hi. So, Augie <laughs> is the dog that um, last week we planned on having Marsha on, and there you had an emergency come up, and Augie was uh, one of them on last week with, okay. with, with his foster mom, Julie. Okay. So, and I agree with Nancy. Nancy's out there in Colorado, and um, and she thinks Marsha's a pretty girl too. She is really pretty, and she's just as sweet as she is pretty. Um, yeah. um, she's good in the house at night. I I don't crater her or anything. She doesn't wander the house. Um, just a little bit, you know, just like moving from her doggy bed to the floor and okay. stuff like that. Um, now, okay, you said you don't crate her, but is she crate trained, or or do you know that answer? Uh, they said that they she would sleep in the uh, be in a crate during the day, uh, okay. but she didn't particularly like it at night. So okay. she really likes to be with people. So she's a beautiful girl. She is a real pretty girl. Yeah. Wow. Um, now, when you first got her, you know, you know, you've heard how dogs can take a while to settle in and and stuff like that. How did she do? Um, she was pretty good. Um, she was, she likes people. So she was very friendly from day one, uh, coming up to me. Um, you know, she was a little not, you know, 
not like your typical pet that, that you know, they will want to snuggle right away. She, you know, it took her just a little bit to want to snuggle and stuff like that. So, okay. but um, she's, she really loves people. So it didn't yeah. take long. What's that little quirk that uh, the video mentioned? <laughs> when she gets tired, um, she sticks the tip of her tongue out when her, when her mouth is closed. And so you just see this little tip of the tongue sticking out. It's really cute. Okay. I had one uh, many years ago that did that too. Cause I kept telling him my, mine was a boy. I, was, I tell him he's going to bite the end of his tongue off. Yeah. But he, he never did. <laughs> yeah. It's they funny know. how that works. Yeah. So it's not that, that much of it hanging out. It's just a tip. I, I yes. understand what you're saying. Yeah. Just the tip. Yeah. Okay. It's, really, it's really cute. It's really endearing. Okay. Now uh, she housebroken and everything. Yes, she's housebroken. All right. And where does she sleep at night? She sleeps in my bedroom, but she sleeps on her doggy bed or on the floor. Um, then in the morning, a lot of times when um, I leave the bed, she likes to jump in it and rearrange the, um, the blankets on the bed. So, oh, okay. Yeah. And then lays down in it or jumps back down? Uh, she will lay down in it sometimes. And yeah. Okay. And, that, and so... Like if we go out in the morning um, to do our business and we come back in, she likes to make a beeline for the bed. So hmm. yeah. she wants to warm back up, I guess. I um, guess it's, it's kind of. Have you had any snow there yet? No, but it's gotten cold. Um, okay. And she's from Texas, so she, you know she's not quite used to it. Right. And it's kind of funny. The rain is the other thing. So she's. Uh, I don't think she's used to sort of dry weather, and our rainy season is just starting. So. Sometimes if it's raining out, uh, she goes quickly out to do her business and comes right in. So, but if it's not raining, she likes to stay out in the yard. Okay. Um, I have a female now that if it's due on the ground in the beginning, she wouldn't go out and get her paws wet. <laughs> and then my boy, we could be in seven years of drought and he'd come in full of mud. So I, I don't know how that works. Okay. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, great Pyrenees rescue society.org. That's where Marcia is. And, yeah. Oh, and my friend made um, some cards up from Vista print and what they have is a, uh, oops, see if I get this just right. Um, so it's, it has her okay. picture and has a QR code. So if somebody's interested while I'm on a walk or anything, I can give them this card and they can uh, use their phone to do use the QR code and go to pet finders and find out more information about her. Well, how cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't That's, get any better than this. Yeah. That, yeah. My my friend um, had these wow. printed up. So. Well, you tell your friend that that was one heck of a good idea and thank him for the rescue. Or him <laughs> or her. It's a her. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, friend, for the res from the rescue. So, hey, that's a heck of a good idea. Uh, yeah. I get my cards from B Vista Print, and I did see that option. And... Um, I, I elected not to do that because, well, I'm a Neanderthal. <laughs> That's, but um, I understand. Uh, well, that yeah. was pretty cool, though, with that card. Yeah, um, it was really cool. Yeah. Real, and real idea. Julie agreed with you. Great idea on the cards. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then, well, just because Ruth, just because Samson thinks he's part duck doesn't mean they all are. <laughs> She has, uh, Ruth was actually on the show with that boy, and um, he was, um, <laughs> in uh, Gretchen's terms, less than a cupcake, okay? And he uh, he's just gone, come so far, Samson has, so. But this show isn't about Samson. We're not taking the spotlight off of Marsha right now. Sorry, Ruth. Sorry, Samson. <laughs> he's big boy. And the next time there's a big butt contest uh, with one of the rescues, he needs to be entered. He, he could be a contender on a big butt contest. <laughs> um, peer owners that's had him for a while understand that totally. <laughs> so, yeah. all right. Marsha's on the petite side, so she's 65 pounds. And that's uh, pretty cool because she'll actually fit in your lap. She will, yes. Yeah. Okay. To where Samson only thinks he can fit in your lap, but he doesn't go without trying. Right. <laughs> he's about 135 pounds right now. This is one of her favorite things is being massaged and petted. She absolutely loves it. Eats it up. Wow. It looks and like, is, is she even awake right now? She, <laughs> she's pretty relaxed. I don't think uh, I would be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she gets the zoomies a couple times a day. And then otherwise she's, you know, she likes to 
crash and sleep. So and she's four years old, right? Yeah, she's about four. Okay. There you have it. She's already been through puppyhood. You don't have yep. needle teeth. Yep. Um, and you've got a, sounds like a, well, another perfect peer. Of course. <laughs> That's right. All right. Wow. Well, you know, um, um, is she your first foster with the Great Parentage Rescue Society? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I haven't fostered with them before. So she's, it's, it's a little bit of a learning experience dealing with. And how, and, and how has it been going for you? with your experience it's been really good um i've really enjoyed having her you know she's such a great dog so mellow um and she makes me laugh all the time especially when she gets the zoomies it's it's just hilarious it's like having a little horse run through your house um, <laughs> and the rescue have yeah. they uh, met needs that were uh, when asked for or has that come up yet um whenever i have a question um i get an answer so that part's right. been really good yeah good. all right because I like to ask that question because we do need fosters, all right? Yeah. Great Pyrenees Rescue Society, all of the rescues need help, all right? Um, and that's why we ask about the experience because we just want to make sure that we get that out there. I mean, if there's something bad, if you don't tell them, they're not going to know anything's wrong. So, yeah. um, wow, Mary, thank you so much for coming on here. And um, well, thanks for having us. Yeah. And you're going to stay up and uh, be off to the side so we can uh, experience what she's experiencing. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, she's got it made, doesn't she? She does. Now, uh, you're not at home, are you? You're at Squeaky's home, huh? Yes, we are. Lotta. Lotta? Lotta, yes. Lotta. And why'd you do that? Because I wanted to meet. Lotta, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, so we wanted to get the two dogs together um, and playing. And they were quite a bit before the show started. Um, so it's, you know, they kind of wore out just <laughs> before the show started. It's the yeah. way it goes. The reason I asked, the reason I <laughs> asked about that, they're, they're squeaky. <laughs> the reason I asked about that is because I'm seeing how relaxed she is and she's not home. Yeah, she, yeah she's not home. Yeah, yeah. That's, and, um, that speaks this volume. Is very, this is a very nice home with, with lots of loving people. So mm -hmm. as you can see, <laughs> that's awesome. That that really is. And and I tell you, I can't thank you enough, Mary, for stepping up and and because always remember when you save when you adopt, for example, you adopt Marcia. Okay, here's what happens: Mary takes another dog, say for example, out of headquarters, most likely that opens up a spot in headquarters for them to pull another dog out of a shelter, which opens up a spot in a shelter for them to take another dog. It's a chain reaction. So, um, so whether you know it or not, that is what takes place. So, all right, Mary, thank you. I'm going to, uh, we're going to, move right along here we've got another young lady coming up and in, you met her earlier isn't she adorable and um uh, uh, well we've got a video for her and once again i this can do much better introduction than i can because i really i'm a i'm a dork up here everybody knows it so
Wow, that was that was a cute wow. little video. Now, and then there's the real girl. Is she alive? Her out. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Christine. Hi, Mark. Hi. How are you? We have a mother-son duo here. That's it. So, wow, she's a she likes car rides. I see. She does. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's an understatement. She looks forward to getting in the car. Once you're in there, you put the window down so she can stick her nose or her head out and um she just loves that wow and usually it's uh, going to be a ride to the park which she also loves so that's uh yeah i can see there's quite a bit at the at the park there so mm -hmm. and she's meeting new dogs and everything isn't she she does yeah mm -hmm. and she does well with them she does well with the dogs she does mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right now she came in with a friend into rescue, and uh, but she got adopted. But she just hasn't left yet, right? Correct, correct. But yeah. she had little scraps with Dempsey, though, huh? Uh, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they're dogs. Yes. That doesn't make them bad dogs. That no, but it was apparent from the way they interacted that they you knew something they, was coming. They didn't need to be together. So right, that is correct. And they're in no way a bonded pair, so that's yeah, not. Yeah. But the good news is, Dempsey got adopted. Yes, yes, yeah. she did. So she did. Um, I, I'm looking forward to hearing all about her in, in her new home because her new owner is so anxious for her to 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 get there, and uh, he's really preparing his home for her. And wow, he said he said he said he's buying her a raincoat. Because it's getting to be the rainy season in Washington, and so yeah, he's yeah. going to take good good care of her and wow. open the same for for this one. Yeah. Uh, Kristen's on. Hi, Kristen. Uh, um, she said, oh, "Dosi yes, is she gorgeous. Is. Her yeah. ears are yes, the she, best." She now, is. Kristen, uh, she had Milo, and Milo got adopted. Oh, excellent! Yeah, yeah Milo was, uh, I believe, was an Akbash mix. Uh, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. I don't care. It's the dog. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But um, yeah, Kristen did great work. You guys are doing great. Mary's doing great. Yeah. And I mean, you guys set the dogs up for success. Has she ever been around cats that you know of? Um, I have not seen her around cats, but she really perks up <laughs> when there's any kind of small animal. There's a little poodle up the street. If we're walking and he's out, she'll definitely. Oh, the rock her. too. There's so a rock I'm not sure that she would do well with cats. Okay. So, so that's up in the air now. Um, and always remember that just because uh, a dog does well with a cat in a foster home doesn't really necessarily that mean that'll transfer to an adopter's home either. Right. But so it I do not have a cat. I'm not. I'm not sure if she met the cat down at headquarters. So uh, and we can find that out because Melissa uh, usually watches the show, but if not, oh. she watches rerun and she'll let us know. Okay. Um, but um, and Mary's just chomping away now. Does um, uh, Dosi uh, does she uh involve get involved with the stimulation toys like what Mary does, or is she more laid back than that? She's more like, well, they have these nylon bones that they mm -hmm. like to chew. Okay. I'm not big on giving treats okay. as much as, you know, making sure they have enough food for their meals. Absolutely. And so I haven't tried out anything like what okay. you have there. Well, those are special, you know. Um, you, I mean, she didn't need the same stimulant that Marcia needed at the time. Right. That's right. all. Yeah. That's all that was about. Yep. Nope, but so. she's really she really likes the nylon bones. She um, will bring it into her crate, for example. She'll we have these beds. She'll bring it into the bed with her. Oh um, wow! Definitely. But, now, um, but she doesn't guard it or anything like that. No, uh, she doesn't because we have Dempsey and they uh, they share the yeah. There you go. They share the bones. Saying. There's more than one, but yeah, they share the bones. They haven't, you know, put a claim to any one bone. They share it between them. And um, um, yeah. yeah, she's really, she's cool. really good about it. I tell you, I think um, 
uh, you may not want to let the headquarters know that Mark took these pictures. Oh, whoops. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> Mark, uh, I mean, yes, I know you do, you do he, good work. He does really good job of, of capturing them. And that one probably was easier. A little <laughs> me. I have a harder time doing the, the photos. Yeah. That was mine. That one of her drinking was me. So. Was that at the dog park? That is what one of the dog parks. We've okay. got three near here, and we've taken to them to all of them. And how does she do when she goes to the dog park? Well, we already asked that question. Yeah. And um, and that's, yeah, she, that's talking important. of talking of zoomies. You know, that she that's that's her place to start doing that. It's really really something. Awesome. She gets there and she just starts to run. So. That's her snuffle mat is the dog park. Yes. 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 Um, she's just something else, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. And how does she do with children? So that is my granddaughter. She did really well when, when she came to visit and she's also encountered children at the dog park. So she did well with them there as well. So inside the house and outside the house, she's, okay. she's done well with the kids. So she would do well with kids. And um, would, and yeah. what, would you put an age starting like 10 and above or six and above? Well, yes, yeah, so my granddaughter's more. seven. So okay. six, six and above would probably be good. I'm All not right. sure now, about some, young ones. Yeah. Some dogs... Um, really love children and some uh i don't i don't remember if gprs i believe uh gprs have had one or two where almost require children for the dog right right, right. Yeah. Uh, but she can yeah. uh be either way i think so okay. yeah yeah but yeah. this is this is what she likes to do most is wow. hang around yeah. and just be with and someone she seems to fit quite nicely in your lap too in my lap yes Yes. And how much does she weigh again? So um, uh, probably around 60 pounds now. When she came time. to us, she was under 50. And we, um, we've we been feeding her according to the, the schedule on the bag for a 60-pound dog. And now she just she's, she was shaved. She was skinny. And she's just a totally different dog from wow. when we first got her back in August. So, I really like that picture. Yeah. Um, yep. She's Jeez. very, very <clears throat> well, very asleep, obviously, but yes, you but know, she, very content. content. Like. This is her her favorite spot. So wow, it's amazing. Um Great Pyrenees Rescue Society dot org. Um her her ticker is her banner is yeah. scrolling underneath. Yes, go um, look. <laughs> so now you're in Texas, so she can I, still go to be, be adopted up there in Pacific Northwest, huh? Yes, yes, that yeah. is typically where the dogs will go. Okay, is um is she your first foster with the Great Pyrenees Rescue Society? No, but I've only been fostering since April. She okay. is. I had a a pair before this, and I had babysat for or pet sat for a foster and that's how i actually got started i had ex i was um uh there was a real estate agent who's a neighbor who had posted that one of their clients needed someone to watch their foster because mm -hmm. if they don't get somebody then the other option is for them to return to headquarters oh. but you want you want a continuous home environment and that's so, how you got involved. Yeah, I did. And I saw Tessie. She's featured on the, Tessie, the website. Yeah, Tessie. Tessie mm -hmm. That she came to uh, stay Jacob. with us for a couple weeks. And um Oh, that was you that okay. Yeah. So she as as she was getting ready to leave, Sam, the foster uh, foster coordinator, put out an email. Um, and said, oh, there's a bonded pair who needs a place to go. And it's like, well, yeah, I can take them for a couple days if you want. Well, I had them until they were adopted. And the rest is, you know, so I'm not going to be just a, a pet sitter. I'm going right. to be a foster. So okay. it sounds like your experience so far has been positive with very, uh, fostering yes. for the Great Pyrenees yes. Rescue Society. Yes. Yes, very, very positive. Um, I um, a lot of the communication takes place on Facebook, and that's probably the big minus for me because I don't 
do a lot of Facebook, but I've gotten used to getting on there every day and checking mm -hmm. and kind of trying to follow how things go. We also get regular emails um, as a group here in Houston. And also if there's something that specifically applies to us, we'll get an email from Sam. Uh, if I have any questions or I need anything from headquarters, I contact Sam and within hours I have a response. So All right. Now you're really, pretty close really to headquarters, really aren't you? And of course, headquarters, Melise is amazing. And I've had questions many times, even though it's just the, you know, two, two sets of dogs, many, many questions. Always, always got some kind of guidance, answer, help, whatever I needed. So now you're close to headquarters, aren't you? I am uh, 15 miles north of Spring. Okay. Have you been to headquarters? What's that? Have you been to headquarters? Uh, several times. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. To um, pick up the dogs, you mm -hmm. know, I'll go and uh, pick up the dogs, but also to pick up supplies. They yeah. provide food and medicine and. Yeah, because they yeah. take heartworm and, and knowledge. It. They provide a lot of knowledge. Too. Yes, there, yes, lots and lots of knowledge. Yeah. So that yeah. headquarters is amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's yes. um, um, uh, she probably if it was just for transport, she's probably pretty full. But on average, yeah. she has what thirty-eight dogs, thirty-five dogs right in that area. Well, I think she has a space for up to forty, and yeah. she, she can hold up to forty. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, but that place is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. Wow, see, there you have it. Uh, um, and we haven't yet had a um, um, a GPRS foster or, or any of the other three rescues that, that uh, support this show. They've never, they haven't had a bad experience with their rescues, okay? And um, as a matter of fact, we, we hear just the opposite. They're having actually good experiences with their rescues. Okay. So most rescues will go over and above to do, take care of their dogs and their volunteers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So I agree. Um, they do. Yes. And because uh, the volunteers make everything happen. And, uh, yes. yes. And in a lot of cases, it's kind of a thankless job, but you know, um, yeah. <laughs> make sure that, you know, without you guys, it, it just can't happen. But at the same time, the rescues uh, have a donor, have donors. They're yes. the ones that actually make everything possible. So yeah. the fosters can make it happen and the volunteers. So, mm -hmm. wow. Um, what kind of home do you think she would need? Um, well, larger than mine. <laughs> um, well, that's not what I meant, but it's close <laughs> enough. It's part of the question. So you're right. Yes. But um, just... Uh, she doesn't have hardly any restrictions, does she? Um, not real. Well, she sleeps in the crate at night. I, I don't let her um, she out of the well. crate. Yeah, because it's the the two of them, and mm -hmm. um, oh, so right. she I has think, Dipsy. Now, does she need a, a a playmate or a mentor, or is she the mentor? I just think she is, and okay. you know, she, she, could, could, she way. could. It could go either way. Yeah. Okay. So but, she could um, be an only dog. She could be an only dog. She really, really likes people and she mm -hmm. wants to be cuddled and near you. And so well, she could yeah, easily um, yeah. be with somebody. But uh, definitely um, a yard would be better. I have a six foot fence, so I haven't seen her try to jump any kind of fence. Does she have any kind of history of, of uh, getting out? Unknown. You know Unknown. She was an owner turning, but that's not the kind of information that got passed. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I'll tell you, you know, so far as being the only dog puppies, you know, everybody knows that they need a mentor to help the human because right. we can't do it all, everything right. that a dog can, but we also have to offer guidance. But yeah. I don't know with the two fosters I see here, Mary and, uh, and uh, Christine, I think uh, any dog could be an only dog in those homes because look what you mm -hmm. got. Yeah. <laughs> they got it made. Yep. So great so, yeah. society.org. That's where right. you go. If, if you don't apply, you can't adopt. Right? right. You even you had to apply, didn't you? Yes, as a like as a foster, yes.
There you I had it. to. I had to qualify. So that's right. Yeah, if my yard wasn't fenced, for example, I would not be able to be right. a fencer. Well, it would be more difficult. It would be more difficult, correct? Because right. um, um, some dogs, I mean, um, a fence is a false sense of security on some dogs, and it doesn't matter how big the fence is. <laughs> well, for example, Dempsey, because I had my trash cans out back, and. Um, I had Did a, you give like, him a ladder to the top? Right, the right, ground. exactly. So I had a little bench and then the trash cans, not even thinking. And I'm back there with him. And all of a sudden, there she is reaching for the trash yeah. cans, which is and right that's next a very, to the fence. It's a very and valid it's like, point because we yeah, don't pay so attention to that sometimes. Those trash cans went out front. They're not out back anymore. It so. doesn't make you a bad person. It makes you human. Yep. But if you've got something, you got a nice six foot privacy fence. But if you've got yep. your trash cans, for example, or some mm -hmm. uh, your um, your your box that you keep your barbecue stuff in, mm -hmm. that's a ladder. Okay? Yes, always remember yes, that. It is. That's yes. a ladder. So, <laughs> As uh, I discovered. <laughs> yeah. um, Nancy, she um, Nancy's actually with the uh, Peer Rescue and Sanctuary in Colorado. Um, they're okay. one of the rescues that supports this show. Yeah. And, uh, in King, she's talking about, he's, he's in a foster home that okay. he was uh, not doing well. Okay. Oh. And he's, he's really doing much better now. Oh, well, good. But they're facilities based. Okay. Um, oh, okay. And, okay. uh, but they have some fosters and, um, yes. and, uh, King's foster mom is a special, she's, uh, well, she takes the one uh, if like, for example, King not doing well in the kennel doesn't matter what the behavior is because michelle mm -hmm. can deal with it if she can't she will let us know she'll call me or whatever or make no mistake judy dole is similar to melise she's got a lot oh, okay of she's got a lot of knowledge so yeah um the uh peer rescue sanctuary in Peyton, colorado was founded in i think 1993 that's okay. a pretty established rescue the, right. the well, bad I'm part serious. was there was a need for a Great Pyrenees rescue back in 1993 in Colorado. Mm -hmm. and there was no rescues back then. So, yeah. because the need was probably still there, but mm -hmm. we didn't have social media. Didn't have a, a society or organized yeah. Yeah. place and for it. Boy, yeah. Julie, I tell you, uh, <laughs> everybody <laughs> agrees with you. And, and does she have, I, I mean, does she have any joints or she just flop all over the place like that? <laughs> she looks so comfortable and content. She is. She is. Yeah. She has. <laughs> she has a lot I'm of. Gonna, sweet, gonna, she has a lot of sweet expressions. You're not seeing yeah. any of them here, right. but well, I don't have to. I can imagine. I'm going to change yeah. the spotlight over to Marsha. Okay. Because she's been on the stimulating brain. Oh, stimulant look at her. Yep. The entire time here, because so I've been paying attention, <clears throat> and that's a job. I mean, that, that can equivalent a job. So, of course, then again, if you ask your great peer needs to sit and your peer sits, you just asked them to do a job and they did it. So, mm -hmm. short jobs, you barely have your paycheck ready, but uh, <laughs> uh, that's still a job. Stimulants, slow feeder bulls are a stimulant. You don't have to get one. You don't have to wait until you get a dog that eats too fast. That's a stimulant, a slow feeder bull. So, basically, while you're feeding your dog, you're giving them a job at the same time. Right. Be, the, be the hero, you know, uh, every, every dog needs a hero because the dog is your hero. It's let's make it reciprocating. Wow. All right. Um, and uh, once again, great Pyrenees rescue society.org. If we don't know you want to apply, I mean, if you don't know you want the dog, we don't, you can't get the dog. So apply. If you don't, I mean, if you think you can't pass, well, why don't you let them be the judge of that? Okay. Um, they don't take anything personal. So um, that's the cool part about these four rescues uh, that I know of. They, um, they're very fair. So, all right. Now, I'm going to make us big again. Now, when we're, we've, our next segment that we have is Maya, okay? And um, it's pre-recorded. And, and there was a very good reason for that. And the foster will tell you why, because I, well, put her on the spot, but uh, um, <laughs> Maya's a young one, but it won't take the spotlight off either one of these. All right. 
because not many people are willing to take a young, uh, a young one, a puppy, if you may. And she is a puppy. So, and she has a video, and um, we're gonna play it once again. I, I'm not very good at intros. So, and then we will bring up the pre-recording. <music> What a cute puppy. All right, before I bring uh, the pre-recording up, I just want to let everybody know that um, if you have questions about the dog, still please ask them in the comments. Just because the foster can't answer them doesn't mean we can't, and if I can't, Rena is still watching. So, um, um, and, but it's going to be, it's, it's, it's a recording. And also, let me know what you think about this way of uh, doing this sometimes. So, Oh, here we go. By the way, it'll mute our mic, so if you want to cuss me out while the pre-recording is on, the viewers can't hear it, okay? So, here we go. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. How are you doing uh, this evening? It's a beautiful day in Texas, and we're doing great. Awesome. Maya. And you have Maya and a little little one there with her, two little ones there. Uh, yeah, that's Dudley. That's her, her best bud here. They, they like to run and play in the backyard. <laughs> okay. Uh, you probably want to get a little closer to your router cause you're getting a little choppy. Um, okay. Um, all right. we can just call them or we can shoot long distance. Uh, while you're doing that, um, uh, what can you tell us about her? When, when did you, uh, how did she come into rescue? Um, I, saw her on the uh shelter website and she had just come in i contacted the great pyrenees rescue society and asked them if we could go get her they said if i could foster they'd tag her and let me go get her and so i did i found out <laughs> come here baby i found out that um she belonged to a lady and a little boy so she has been around kids um and they lost their home oh no so they had to surrender her and uh, they were going into a hotel, couldn't, couldn't keep her at the hotel. So I brought her home with another dog from the shelter. And um, she was small and skinny. Wow. And when and was that? Timid. September the 8th. September the 8th. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, she does, she does really well with um, Dudley, especially. He's, he's another rescue that... Um, but I ended up adopting him. Is that Dudley uh, right there she's with? Yes, that's that's Duds. <laughs> so they run and play and they do zoomies in the house and they do tug of war and you you I think you have a picture of them together. Yes, I do. Um up, um, up on the picnic table. They like to jump up on the picnic table together. Wow. Come here, Maya. Wow. Hi baby. You're so pretty. So uh it was then, a, go ahead, I'm sorry. And then there's uh she plays really well with the ner with uh, my Newfoundland too. So there's one a lot smaller than her and a lot bigger than her that she she plays with. Wow. So wow. What about cats? Do you have any cats? 
I do not. She is not. She has not been around cats that I know of. Okay. Um, however, as we're doing this, you may hear um, behind me. There's a maniacal duck that lives back there. A duck. And uh, a duck and some chickens. So she's aware of them through the fence. Okay. And is not concerned at all about them. Okay. Uh, and what kind of home do you think she would need? Well, she needs another dog because okay. um, as you and I were preparing for this, I thought it would be better if I um, maybe put all my other dogs up and let's just concentrate on her. And she was wandering around like she was lost. She was lost. I saw that. And uh, so, you went in and got Dudley and this one came out too. What's his name? His name's Dash. Dash. Boy, he's good looking. Dash. Now, he's yeah. not for adoption, yeah. right? Uh, no, I adopted him okay. from so, a rescue years ago as a companion to one of my dogs. So that's what I'm hoping somebody will do with Maya is adopt her as a companion for um, a dog that she can bond with because she, she really... Okay, you going to get in there? You get out? <laughs> there you go. Um but she does need another dog. She needs, okay. she, she, she has been taught boundaries here by the other dogs. Um, and I let them obviously, obviously, because that's what they're, that's what they're supposed to do. So when she does something, she's not supposed to, they let her know. Um, when she does something in the house that she's not supposed to, of course I let her know, but, um, she does need another dog. I think she'll be good with kids cause that's where she was in the first place. Um, wow was with a kid. You sounds like um, you got the perfect puppy here almost other than a puppy. Yeah, she we're working on housebreaking. She's about I would say 90% there. Okay. She comes outside and does her business and and uh is very good. And um and she's 5 months old, she, isn't she? Yeah. She's she, she's still working on how do I let you know I need to go out? Gotcha. That's so she does bark at night when she's in her crate if she needs to go out. So I'll get up immediately and take her out. Um, and then she'll go to the bathroom. She does, she does really well. Um, she's very patient when I'm feeding the other dogs. She'll go lay down on a, she'll go lay down on a, on a little rug and, and wait. And then, she goes immediately into her crate and sits and waits for that food to come. So she is so, crate trained and she enjoys it. She loves her crate. Good. She absolutely loves it. And when at night I tell her um, kennel and she goes right in there and spend, wow. and sometimes she'll just, if she feel, I think if she feels like the other dogs are getting to be too much for her, she'll go into the crate and chill out and, and she'll just lay down and, She's got some chew bones in there. Awesome. Um, How did Dudley get up on that picnic table? He jumps up. Okay, That's... just checking. <laughs> that, I bought the picnic table for the dogs. Oh. I mean, believe it or not, at a yard sale. So that's their spot, and they know it. Um, but she is starting to get a little dusky out here, so I'm hoping yeah. you can still see. That's all right. But uh, she is she's very soft, and she's very pretty. Oh, yes, um, she is. is a puppy. She likes to get in the mud if there's mud. But as I've as I've learned with Great Pyrenees, it's it's amazing. They look like they are covered with mud, but as soon as it dries, it's like it just falls off of they're them. It's amazing. They are self cleaning. That's right. So, well, they're they're bred uh, to work out in the fields while the farmers are asleep, and stay out in the yep. fields with them. So, well. Something had to happen, so God made himself cleaning. Maya, come here, baby. Maya, um, can you come? Now, how come long here, have you fostered Honey, for baby. the Great Pyrenees Rescue Society? Um, I've been doing it for about four months, four or five months. Oh, okay. And I, how's your experience been so far as a foster? Um, it's It's been good. They have a lot of resources. Um, they... It's fast and furious, so sometimes, you know, things get lo uh, lost in translation, okay. but there's so many animals being surrendered, and it, it's hard to coordinate, you know, getting them, and, and where are they going to go, and and um, so there's a lot of people involved. Right. Well, Maya, you uh, you found her at your shelter, and you went and got her. 
Yours was easy. Um, um, now, are we hoping to adopt her in um, in Texas or the Pacific Northwest, or do you have a preference? I do not have a preference. Um, oh, we get to see some playtime. Yes, they do. They they like to have, run around. Um, I don't have a preference. Uh, the three that I had before, Maya, um, one of them got adopted here. And one of them got adopted after she got up to the Pacific Northwest. And the other one is still in foster in the Pacific Northwest. Gotcha. So it doesn't make any difference. And, and I will personally, if I know that they're getting a good home, I'll travel. Because I met, I went three hours and met the girl that okay. adopted one of my other pups. Okay. And she okay. drove three hours and I drove three hours. She's got the double dew claws. She does have the curly tail in the back. Um, she, She's gorgeous. She, she does not counter surf in the house. Um, she counter surfs outside. <laughs> when I'm not looking, she gets up on the uh, different tables I have out here and snatches things off. But she doesn't do it inside. Wow. Um, she's going to make she, a super. She's going to be a supermodel when she grows up. She's she's very pretty. Yes. Yeah, she um, she's not very vocal except when she wants something. And she, but she will stand at the window when I'm working. And if she sees anybody passing by, she's, she's very vocal about that. All right. She's a great so, Pyrenees. So she, it, well, we're going to wrap this up uh, just out of curiosity in case anybody asks, uh, this is a pre-recorded segment. And usually when uh, we do these pre-recorded segments, there's a uh, scheduling conflict with uh, the foster. Um, is that what happened here, um, Cynthiana? Oh, no. I just, I don't want my face on here. It's all about the dogs. I wanted her to be on here. There you go. So, there you have so, it. So, and, <laughs> and I might have to work Sunday afternoon, but. Okay. But, so uh, there could be a scheduling conflict. So, uh, no, she could. and, uh, well, thank you very much for letting us get her out there for Sunday. So, well, thank you for allowing me to, to pre record. All right. Well, I'm going to take you down there in the green room, and I'm going to end the recording then. Well, I'll just end it right here. So, uh, All right. <laughs> there you have it. She didn't want her face on the camera. So um, she did say something I like to touch on just a little bit, but uh, they are self-cleaning. Um, <laughs> they are. I mean, yep. I've seen it. I've had peers for many years, and... Uh, Man, they go out rolling the mud, and there's a little thing running around Facebook that shows a great Pyrenees in a mud puddle covered with mud, and the caption says, next stop, the sofa. That's absolutely true. That is where they go, okay? So, but if you can happen to, if they happen to hit the crate first, and you go, okay, good, you stay in there for a little while, you go back an hour and a half later, there's no mud. It's gone. And, um, and it's gone so it just disappears it's magic so and the akbash uh, do do that also and uh, the marema um my kuvaz does too so um but yeah now um that was a cute little puppy wasn't it and by the way mary i really really owe you an apology i had you muted oh okay no problem um but i'm gonna i want to bring up that uh what what no one else can see is um i was watching um um i i Mary caught my eye down there with Marsha during the pre-recorded session. And, um, well, this is how she treats Marsha right there. She never stopped. Somebody was always in contact with Marsha. And look how relaxed she is. That's never a bad thing when you do this with your dog. Okay. That's a connection that, uh, that you make that is just amazing. So always remember that. Now, um, I do have a few minutes. I can go into what I wanted to talk about here a little bit. Does anybody, um, uh, well, I'm sure you do, um, communicating with your dog. The Great Pyrenees, we like to think, well, we don't like to think, they are masters of communication. And do you know what they're trying to say? Okay. Um, now, so we're going to do a, for a couple of weeks here, and always remember next week, we're not going to have a show. As a matter of fact, I was going to ask you, we don't have a show next week. I'm going to be on transport. And um, 
and the dog does come first. Okay, it really the dog really does, um, and that's the conflict. Unless somebody steps up and wants to fill in for me, um, that can happen too. Just, you know, <laughs> oh, I heard somebody laugh. <laughs> um, I think that answer might have been no. So anyway, um, uh, and this is not a who's the biggest dork contest either. So. Uh, but I, well, I will say, Cynthiana carried herself very well, don't you guys think? Mm -hmm. um, so she, I was, I was real good. I was real happy with that. Anyway, part of, one of the areas of communication that your dog has is their tail, okay? And uh, a lot of you realize that, but do you actually realize? Now, there is one difference here with um, our our breed and um, and a lot of other breeds is is the very first one up there about the alert and excited. The Pyrenees will curl their tail. Their tail. The Aquabash does stuff with their tail that doesn't seem physically possible. Okay, but they're alert and excited. Okay, and have you ever noticed that that uh, your your Pyrenees or your dog's tail hangs is straight out the back? Okay, that means they're it's a neutral position. They're just exploring. All right, and that can change. Now tail down is, is uh, uh, submissive and, um, and sometimes concerned. But when they wag their tail off to the left, that is concerning or unpleasant, all right? A fast wag is excited. Doesn't mean he's happy, that means he's stimulated, all right? Now, the broad wag, uh, a more controlled wag on a broader wag means that could mean he's happy, okay? Yeah. And uh, now the tail wagging off to the right, yeah, means you're not a threat. It, pleasant, that's what that says, but uh, you're not threatening and he's okay, all right? Now the slow moving tail is a uh, lack of enthusiasm, and we're pretty sure about that. Then the short wag, okay? Boom, 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 boom. Well, you can't see me, I got to sing up. Boom, 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 boom. That's an anxious wag, all right? Um, he's... Um, borderline uncomfortable all right anxious or uptight is what that says that's a good description so um that's uh one of the things that some some people uh, don't understand a lot of people do um and what about in circle uh maybe a dislocated tail okay um but uh, mm -hmm. some, well so, you know, good question say? nancy um and I will actually get Roman's opinion on that because there's different, uh, depends on what other parts of the body are doing is a problem with that one. So, um, and, and we'll touch other parts of the body in two weeks, okay? And um, I'll tell you what, I'll make note of that so I don't forget. Um, so, that's where it starts. The communication tail's important. So, anyway, um, enough of that one. When we, when we bring Kelsey back, um, we've got a lot of good things going to happen. Uh, if, if nobody knows who she is, she runs a, well, the website, if you don't know about the breed, that's the only place you have to go is it's dogornothing.com. And Kelsey runs that website. She is a uh, volunteer with the Great Pyrenees Rescue Montana. And uh, she has a hard dog, uh, uh, Takana. And we've had her on the show, of course, she used to, but she's real busy right now. She also has a cat rescue. She's she's real busy with animals. So anyway, we're going to call it a day, you guys. Thank you, okay. everybody, the Thank dogs you. and and the humans Thank for coming you. on. And uh, you guys did Sleeping. great. <laughs> and um, I asked Mark to be our producer, and he hasn't answered me yet. Uh, I, think he, I think he might <laughs> still be laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, but you see, Mark, all that is is like you see the the template in back, um, where we're all up here. And I, well, you know, I forgot to uh, put that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there me. That's all you would have to do. Nobody would have to see you either, unless you want to be seen. That's up to you. And if, when you have a foster, if you're the producer, well, you can also cover your dog at the same time. <laughs> Very convenient. So. Um, anyway, all right, everybody, uh, we're going to call it a day and, um, I got to go, uh, work with a couple of dogs I'm working with still. Um, I'm actually done with them. We're just waiting on fence people. Has anybody ever had a fast fence company? Um, mm. yeah. <laughs> so that's the problem there. All right, Mary, 
um, Christine, Mark, thank you so much for coming on. And, okay, uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, squeaky. Bye, squeaky. <laughs> Bye, Lotta. Bye, Marsha. Bye, Dozy. Am I saying her name right, Dozy? Dozy, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, you corrected my spelling on the video because I had put Dorsey. I knew better, but I did it anyway. <laughs> for human. All right, everybody. See, Thanks. we'll see you in Bye. two weeks. If you want us to do a rerun for next week, let me know. We have that capabilities. Just put it in the comments. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.